Look pretty. It's Bite Down Boxing in the house with uh, Coach uh, Lamar Wright, Ali Azim. I don't never know what it is. I just know my man. But uh, Ohio Boxing in the building. Uh, you were in the corner tonight in support of um, Jerika O'Quinn. Man, this is a kid I've been hearing a lot about from a lot of different individuals in Detroit boxing. Um, you know, walk us through what you saw in there tonight you know, against James Smith. Well, I've seen, I seen a future champion. You know, I've seen a, few, a future champion. That was a great fight for him. Uh, he's going to learn a lot from that fight. He's going to grow. Did you, I, I was expecting it to be a little more dicey, but it seemed like uh, O'Quinn kind of, I wouldn't say cruise to a victory, but just in control of the action throughout the night, look sharp defensively. Um, what do you think you can attribute that to? You know, I, th I think they underestimated uh, Rico's inside work. So, you know, and we told Rico, you know, Rico, he ain't doing nothing but just walking right in, popping, tie him up. Popping, tie, you know, get your get your body of work off, tie him up. You know, and then, you know, Red, you know, he's kind of, he's kind of being dirty. You know, uh, him behind the head a little bit. Um, you know, and then using his head. So, you know, we just told Rico, you know, keep keep your composure and keep going to work. All right. Um, we got a big night coming up on uh, the 26th, man, as uh, Tyler McCreary gets back in there. Yeah. Coming off of the performance at MGM Na uh, National Harbor. Um, I didn't get to talk to you that night, man, but what, what was your thoughts on this performance that night? And what's the goal going into this one against a guy who's like 17-0? Yeah, I mean, you know, for, for Tyler on that fight, man, that was a big step up. You know, we fought a, a, a Filipino, you know, who was 22 and uh, 2 and came to win. A uh, real big step up, you know, a veteran type guy, um, you know. So you, we coming, we taking that momentum from that fight into this fight. You know, um, in this fight, we, you know, we had the experience. Uh, we've been in a lot tougher. Uh, so, you know, it should be a great night for us. What do y'all know about this cat? What's his name, Matt Conway? Matt Conway. Uh, yeah, I've seen him a, a few times locally, but you know, I, I really don't know too much about him. I've seen some, sta uh, some tape of him, so you know, we got him broke down, and you know, we got a great uh, game plan for him. How do you feel about the fight being out? Well, actually, man, let me get back to it. Is um, is Tyler doing some uh, some different strength and conditioning? I saw some videos yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah. Seemed like he has uh, taken it like as a personal challenge to really get the best out of himself on yeah, fighting. Yeah, yeah, he, he got uh, um, you know uh, another personal trainer that he's working with um, that's doing a tremendous job. That same uh, strength and conditioner is, uh, you know, he's working with uh, Robert, uh, Easter, Albert Bell. So, you know, it's coming along. What's your thoughts on that card top to bottom, man? I mean, there's a lot of names on there, a lot of guys that we all know. Yeah. Uh, what's your excitement level, you know, to see these guys pull that off and make it a fantastic night? I'm happy to be a part of that card. You know, and Toledo's really on that card. And really, it's Ohio's on that card. Exactly. There's four Ohio cards, uh, people from, from Ohio on that card. Antonio Nieves, you know, I look for him to get a, a spectacular uh, victory. You know, people count them out. I don't know why they don't count that kid out. I've been in training camps with them, uh, with him and his coach. And, you know, I'm seeing what, he, what he's capable of. So, And plus, he went seven rounds with a newie. No one else has, has done that. So, you know, he's very tough. And, and you know, so we looking forward for that fight. Then you got the debut of Jared Anderson from right. Toledo, number one in the country. And, uh, you know, of course, Albert Bell and Tyler. Got you. Um, and then what's going on with Sonny, uh, with, your, with your super lightweight, uh, Sonny Ferguson? I know he, I heard he had a date set up and whatnot. What's going on with him? Yeah, so he'll be fighting Samuel uh, Tia. Oh, okay. Uh, November 14th in Washington, D.C., uh, defending his, uh, Sonny will be defending his USBA title. I've seen kid in the ring before. Uh, you know, what's the, uh, have you guys gotten into heavy game planning just yet, or uh, what, what would be the focus with him? Oh, yeah, you know, I ain't going to give too much of it away, but, you know, uh, we, Sonny going to be, you know, we're going to be there. You know, I, I, I like to fight for Sonny. That's the type of fight we need. Um, and then, you know, hope, you know, we want to get this up out the way and, and, and move on to bigger things. Speaking of bigger things, I mean, man, 140 is, is loaded in my opinion. It's one of my favorite divisions, man. You know, in your opinion? Listen, at the Regis fights, Taylor, we want the Regis fight. Well, that's what I that, want that, That's what we want. We want the Regis fight. We're with the same promoter. We, we got to make it happen. You know, he's with the Bella. Sonny with the Bella. Uh, Sonny, Sonny's rated in the WBA. You know, we ready for that. So you think you guys uh, will be looking to do something exciting then to kind of create the momentum to... Make that discussion, yeah, to force that discussion. Because we know, we know what's at hand. We know what's at hand. Sonny knows what he has to do. Um, and, and, you know, that's his dream. That's every fighter's dream is to get that title. And, he, and he's this close to get his shot. So he, Sonny knows how important this fight is. 
Speaking of all these guys, I hate to try to run through the names right now with everything that's going on right to our right. But um, it, like I said, loaded at 140. Uh, what's something for those that may not know Sonny right now? Um, you know, what are you, in your opinion, man? What's the what's the uh, the qualities, the characteristics that will help him will help him be able to stand out at 140? You, you got to remember, Sonny's uh, extremely uh, big, 140 pounder, six foot two. Uh, he's big, physical. You know, he's gonna bring the fight. He's gonna, he gonna, he gonna bring you what they're looking for. Gotcha. Appreciate the time, Mike, to, right. tonight, man. Thanks. Thanks.